Hello, church. I'd like to share a passage of scripture today from 1 Peter, and then I want to tie it into the worship series that we're that we're following along with on Sundays. And then finally, I'd like to share regarding some of my spiritual gifts as well. Well, 1 Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. We know this from the Apostle Paul's teaching. Paul really stressed that every one of us is given a spiritual gift by the Holy Spirit. And it's given to us to build one another up, to build up individuals, to build up the church. But you know, this idea of spiritual gifts and member helping member is not unique just to Paul. We find it here in this latter epistle. Peter is teaching the very same truth. Now, there are numerous lists of gifts of the Holy Spirit in Scripture, and, and you can sort of combine them and consolidate them and try to understand what they are. I sometimes think that maybe the Spirit even moves beyond the lists that we can pull from Scripture, but I want to at least list them for you. So here they are, the ones that I would pull right out. Knowledge or teaching or discipleship, the ability to, to learn and then know and then explain the Word of God. There's wisdom, the ability to discern. There's prophecy to proclaim the Word of God with boldness. There's discernment, the ability, supernatural ability to, to look at a situation and discern where God is taking you or us. There's exhortation, which is to encourage and enthusiastically build people up and motivate people into the faith. There's, sh there's shepherding, that's looking out for the flock and caring for the church. There's faith, which is what it says it is, trusting God. There's evangelism, which is to build up the church, to lead people to faith in Christ. There's apostleship, which is sort of above the church, like a district superintendent or bishop that has a view of beyond one single church, building up the church globally or at least regionally. Their service and helps. This one is so important. That's simply to help people in need or to be a person who helps with anything, any activity that's happening at church. Then there's mercy, which is concentrating on acts of compassion. There's giving and stewardship, which is to be generous with all you have in ways that build up the kingdom of God. And there's hospitality, making people feel welcome and appreciated and wanted and included. And uh, boy, the list, the list could go on. I'm sure I haven't done a real detailed version of the the list of gifts, but you get the idea. The Spirit has equipped you and me with one or more of those expressly to be the grace of God flowing to the church, flowing to one another. This week in worship, in our series where we're looking at how friendship is designed to build each other up in the faith, we're going to look at how Paul befriends and then mentors Timothy. Paul uses his own spiritual gifts to then build up Timothy in those same gifts. Clearly, they were gifts that Timothy had, and Paul recognized that. Paul is a good teacher, great teacher and preacher, and he builds Timothy into that kind of a preacher and teacher. Who might God be calling you to mentor, to disciple in the church? You have gifts. You have ways you're involved. You have things the Spirit has gifted you in. Who might Christ be calling you to share those gifts with, to replicate yourself, to be a disciple maker? I believe I have the spiritual gift of teaching and the spiritual gift of evangelism. Those are areas in my life. Didn't it wasn't without development. It wasn't without mentoring, but there are areas where I believe I see the work of the Spirit in me. And I'm so thankful for that. There are some other areas that I'm not sure they're spiritual gifts, but the Spirit has developed them through ministry. The area of shepherding and the area of leadership, I don't consider them necessarily spiritual gifts, but they're gifts that the Spirit blesses. Now, I'm always, as a pastor, I'm always looking out for opportunities to share and to build up and to mentor people in the gifts that I know. And you know what? In every church I've been in, 
God brings along several people with those gifts who are ready to be mentored, ready to grow. And I get the privilege of sort of replicating myself and seeing those people grow in those gifts and, and hoping that one day the student surpasses the teacher. And many times that is exactly what happens. If you hear all this and, you, and you're not sure about spiritual gifts, you're not sure about disciple making, and you'd like to learn more, please come see me. I'd sure be willing to help you and guide you and give you some helps and some tools that might help you along the path that you too can be this kind of mentor, this kind of disciple maker that Paul and Barnabas before him model for us. Well, thank you for watching another post. Let me know if there's something else you'd like me to be talking about. I'll be glad to do my best to share. And as always, I hope to see you Sunday. Mm -hmm.